going for you over the last couple of days here at Idaho on your side. The Ada County Highway District Commissioners have now decided to put together policies and rules regarding roadside memorials. Right now, there are no guidelines for roadside memorials honoring those who've been killed in accidents. But that will soon change, all because of a young girl named Olivia. Lauren Johnson is live in studio with the story. Lauren? Roland and Michelle, the first step is a committee, and Olivia Schnacker's mom, Mindy, will be a part of that committee, deciding what guidelines should be put in place for these memorials that mean so much to so many. We do not want there to be another memorial for another family because of our memorial. But yet, our memorial is important to our family. It's needed and it's necessary. After meeting with the president of the Ada County Highway District Commission, Jim Hansen, Mindy Schnacker has been invited to be part of a committee that will put together policies and rules regarding roadside memorials, honoring those who have been killed in accidents. Very excited that the commissioners have chosen to put a committee in place to make that decision. Mindy was a very different woman from three days ago when she discovered her daughter Olivia's memorial at the corner of Eustick and Julian had nearly disappeared. Later learning it was ACHD who removed Olivia's treasures because they deemed it an encroachment. It's been the same size from the beginning. We have only been in that one flower bed um, area. In a public meeting today at ACHD, they said it was time to decide what should and shouldn't be allowed. We didn't have a policy in place, and so um, thanks to the organizing of Mindy and others, um, we're going to have a committee that comes together, that comes up with some proposals, some recommendations that we can then bring back to the commission, and I hope it might be a model for other local governments. And what is and isn't a distraction for drivers? I really think that we need to have those so that we can have safety for our public, but that we can allow uh, those that need to have those memorials mm -hmm. that they can still have them. Olivia Schnacker had just turned 13 when she was killed back in April after being hit while riding her bike in a crosswalk. Since then, her family has kept a memorial at the intersection. How much love and support our family feels within the community that they remember our daughter. The commissioner says the new guidelines will be named after Olivia. I have no doubt that uh, Mindy and others will help us move this forward quickly. I know as one commissioner and the others will want to see a proposal come to us in the next few months and I could see that happening. Before today's meeting, Hansen met with the Schnacker family last night at their home for a couple of hours and said that Olivia is one of the reasons the commissioners gathered today. Hansen says they plan to involve other agencies in the process. Roland, Michelle. Boy. Lauren, you've been covering the story now for a couple of nights and yes. it's been so emotional for mm -hmm. all of us to see yes. a grieving mother completely understanding where she's coming from. Do you think, and I don't know if you've talked to Mindy about this, does this help her in the grieving process at all? You know, I believe that it does. I haven't asked her that direct question, but I think that one thing that a grieving mother needs is someone to listen to them. Yeah. And she has a lot of concerns yeah. and a lot of um, problems that uh, how this this problem, her, her, this tragedy has affected their family yeah. from the beginning that haven't been heard. And I think that this is one way that this family is finally going to have a little bit of closure and a little bit uh, more understanding. And a first step. I mean, she could make a real difference here as other government agencies follow what Ada County might do here. Right. Absolutely, and that's just what the commissioner said. And she has a voice now. Lauren, thanks so much. Appreciate yep. it.